Hey y'all, it's Marsha, and I decided to do a video today just to give you an update on what's going on in my life. So today is October the 9th, and I am getting ready to have a mammogram done. So as you know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so peeps, if you guys haven't had those mammograms, please do so. Um, make sure you do your self-exams, um, self-breast exams. Um, men and women, you know, if you feel anything unusual, please go to your doctor. If they won't give you a mammogram, but you, you know, you insist or you really feel like you need to, then be persistent. But today is a scheduled mammogram for me. Um, it's been about eight months since my last mammogram. And today is a big deal for me because my last mammogram is when I was declared cancer free. So, you know, this one is just a follow-up eight months later to make sure everything is still going good. And, you know, I'm declaring and proclaiming that it is, but I am nervous. You know, to be honest with you, I am nervous. So, um, even though, you know, I've been doing my self-exams, it's been eight months since I've had any type of imaging done. And so, you know, today is a big deal. So, um, just wanted to fill you guys in on that. You know, um, and something's popping up on my screen. So just wanted to fill you guys in on that um, and take you with me on today. I think I'll be getting the results today too. So I think I have the mammogram and then I follow up with my doctor to go over, you know, what she saw. So, um, so yeah, come with me on this journey. Who is that? Mammogram is done. Um, it was a little nerve wracking today because um, number one, mammograms are not fun at all, but they're not difficult. They're just, they just hurt a little bit. So after I did, you know, the first couple of pictures, she went to show them to the radiologist and she came back and was like, oh, the radiologist wants to, wants me to get a couple of more pictures. I don't see anything wrong, but they just want to be sure. So she, you know, had to get a couple more pictures and she came back. Oh, they just want a few more. And I'm like, wait a minute now, you know, so I started to get, you know, a little worried. So then after that, you know, it was supposed to be it. And I was supposed to go see my breast um, surgeon for her to just check me out. But they was like, okay, now the radiologist wants to do an ultrasound on the area because, you know, your tissue is very dense and... You know, we just want to make sure that everything is okay since this is your first mammogram since, you know, your chemo treatment. And so I've heard these words before and this kind of tone before. So it really, really, really scared me. Um, but again, I was just like, you know, God is in control. God is in control. So we did the ultrasound and then finally she was like, okay, everything looks great. Um, you know, I don't see any concerns. I just wanted to be really sure because you know this is your first mammogram since your chemo and she said everyone after this is gonna be just like this because we just want to make sure that you know um everything is okay so i was like okay well good so then i went to see my um breast surgeon you know and she said you know i'm doing pretty good um she said i'm doing pretty good and um, she, you know, she felt my tissue, my scar tissue, and it looked good. It felt good. So everything was pretty good today. Um, I have a follow-up appointment with the lymphedema specialist because I've been having some issues in my right arm where I had the, um, lymph nodes removed. 
So I have another appointment with a lymphedema specialist, but as far as my breast and the mammogram, everything went good. So I don't have to do another mammogram for six months. So I'm super excited about that. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I'll probably do another video or more um, lengthy video to give you a more detailed update of what's been going on in my life. But this was just my first mammogram um, visit since chemo. So I definitely want to document this moment. So thanks again, everyone, for following my journey, for all of your support and prayers. Um, I read every last one of my comments and I just truly thank everyone for always supporting me and for praying for me because it really means a lot to me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you so much, everyone. And until next time, see you later.